When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, will I seek. Psalms 27 and verse 8. Good morning, good morning to you trumpeters and prayer partners. This is your host of Morning Devotions and the Word for Today, Evangelist Pastor Brian Bassett, coming to you with this word to always bless you, to strengthen you, to lift you up, to bring you ever so much closer and closer to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You are hearing this word today, and as you are listening to it, many of you, as you're listening to this word, I would have already been on the road, leaving Minneapolis, Minnesota, and heading back to Florida. So I am asking you to cover me in your prayers. After a successful two weeks down in the Philippines, and many of you seen the pictures, many souls were saved, touched, healed, set free, and delivered. God did mighty, mighty works down there in the youth of flame. Hallelujah in Abra. Such a joy to have been there and to see God move in a mighty way. And then returning back to Minneapolis, Minnesota and hanging out at Spiritual Life Church, getting all fired up with the Word of God from Dr. Robert Lairdon for the last three days as he was there and as the Lord prepared me for two nights out in St. Paul, Minnesota at my good friend's church, Dr. Lee, hallelujah, Agape Love Church. We had a time, hallelujah, and many of you are going to see the pictures and I want you to check it out on YouTube and you can also check it out on my Facebook page. We had a hallelujah time in St. Paul. Two nights of revival and seeing people hungry, worshiping God, hungry for God and having a blessed, marvelous time. Hallelujah in those two nights with the host pastor, Dr. Sung Lee and uh, Brother Lee and all the good people, hallelujah, that worship there. Can't wait to come back again. Now I am on my way back to Florida. I'm hoping to be back to Florida sometime on Wednesday. I need you to pray for me so I can continue to seek the Lord's face. And as he continued to ask me to seek his face, I want to know that I am obedient and so shall you. So shall you be obedient because child of God, he's asking you to seek his face, to seek his face day after day, night after night, every moment, every minute that you can get and you can spend it in the presence of God, take advantage of it. Because the more you spend time with God, the closer you get to Him, the more He talks to you, the more He shows you revelations. Because now He's seeing that you are hungry for His Word, and you are hungry, and you are putting Him first in your life. Hallelujah. That's what's going to happen when you spending time with God every little minute that you got hallelujah every minute that you can find give him thanks give him thanks don't ask hallelujah except for for something special like when you're driving on the road like me tomorrow i'm definitely going to ask him to protect me and to keep me and to guide me and to dispatch his angels around me and cover me in the blood of jesus Hallelujah, in a 50-mile radiance, and I'm going to ask you to do the same thing for me 
cover me in your prayers. Keep me in your prayers and I will be updating you, hallelujah, every morning until I get back to my studio in Gulfport, Florida. Hallelujah. Maybe stopping and spending the night somewhere in uh, Tennessee, Kentucky somewhere, according to how the Lord give me strength. But when I do wake up in the morning, by the grace of God, I will have a word for you letting you know that God is good and that he is always good. And also, too, as I am driving, hallelujah, I will be sharing the word and sharing a song or two, streaming live, as long as the Facebook page don't cut me off. Amen. Keeping both of my hands on the wheel and focusing on pressing on, hallelujah, to reach the prize, the prize of home, which is my wife, my two little furry friends, Otis and Sam, I am going to be so, so glad to see them. I have been gone away from home since June, June the 6th. My wife and I, we drove from Florida up here, hallelujah, and we helped our daughter, my daughter, actually, hallelujah, to move into her new place. And in three days, she drove me to the airport, and I was on a plane heading to Manila, Hallelujah, Philippines, where we had hallelujah for two weeks and we had a five nights of Holy Ghost power back. Hot, 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 hot. Young people shouting and jumping and praising God. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to go back again. I love it. I love it there so much hanging out with my good friend, Pastor Augusto, and his beautiful wife, Sister Augusto, Janetta. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. God bless you. Continue to do the work that you are doing down there. And we will continue to be praying for you that God will bless you and, and each and every one of you in what you're doing for the kingdom of heaven and that he will make a way where there seems to be no way. Hallelujah. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with your whole heart. That is found in Jeremiah 29 and in verse 13. God said, you will seek me when you seek me with your whole heart. When you seek me with your whole heart, he said, you are going to find me. But when you're seeking me with only part of your heart, not all of your heart, not committed to me with 100%, he said, you will struggle to find me. You will struggle to know who I am. You will struggle to hear my voice. You would hardly hear my voice. But when you spend time seeking and searching for me and saying, God, here I am, Show me your presence. Fill me with your presence. I want to shower in your presence. I want to shower in your glory. I want to bathe in your glory. I want to be saturated in your glory. I am the clay and you are the porter. Oh God, soak me, make me, bend me, break me, do what you want to do in my life but God just don't turn me loose give me that hunger for you that Jesus talked about in the book of Matthew blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled help us Lord God to knock on the door because you said he that knock it it will be open help us to continue to ask you hallelujah in faith not in the wavering not in want but in need and God you say you will cause that need to come to fruition it will come to pass and you will bless us because you are in the blessing business so father I thank you I thank you for what you've done down in the Philippines in those two weeks and I thank you father God for what you've done in those two nights two weeks in the Philippines and two nights in St. Paul, Minnesota at Agape Love Church. Hallelujah. 
Stay strong in the Lord, both of you. St. Paul Agape Love Church, Bethesda Ministry, all the young people, stay strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Getting back home to Florida, hallelujah, and we'll be preparing to do several concerts, maybe two or three concerts before we head back to Cameroon, Africa, my team and I. Hallelujah. We got a good team going. It's going to be five of us thus far, and I'm happy about the five that is going. Looking forward to working with them. Pray for us as we continue to bring this trip, Cameroon, Douala, in our hearts. That's where we're going, and we will be leaving on the 8th of November. Hallelujah. The 8th or the 18th. I haven't quite been away for so long, but I know that we will be having our team meeting on the 18th. Hallelujah. I think it's a Thursday. Glory to God. And I'm excited about going to Africa. I'm excited about going back the second time and holding that great revival and that great crusade, preaching on the streets and seeing God doing mighty things over there in Africa. I'm excited about it. Oh, child of God, continue to pray for this ministry. Continue to pray for me and my wife and this ministry as I continue to pray for you. And by the way, I want to thank, hallelujah, my dear friend, Pastor Vicki Sanders for coming out and my dear brother Otto for coming out and my dear sister, Sister Pauletta, hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming out to the crusade here and the revival here in St. Paul. It's such a joy to see you. Hallelujah. Pastor Vicky, you being there two nights, thank you so much. My brother Otto, he came last night and my sister Pauline, she came the first night. Thank you for being a part of the crusade, the revival. I trust that each and every one of you were blessed, and I know you were, because I was blessed. So in my closing here, hallelujah, the word of God tells us again, but you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut the door, pray to your father who is in secret place. He's in the secret place, and your father who seed you in secret will reward you openly. He that dwelleth in a secret place shall be rewarded openly. You will be protected because the Father is looking for those who is seeking his face. When you seek my face, you will find me. We're talking about seeking the face of the Lord. Sometimes it can be a struggle that's because of the life that we're living. Your life, the life you live, depends on how you search and seek for the presence of God. And child of God, when you find it, you don't ever want to give it up. Continue to seek ways to find the presence of God. Amen. Again, pray for me as I travel tomorrow morning to Florida. We love you. We thank you. God bless you. I pray for you now, Father. Everyone that listened to the word, may they be blessed. May they be encouraged. May they be strong in you. May they continue to seek ways to seek your face. And may you continue to give them the opportunity to find your presence. Thank you, Lord. Touch them, heal them, set them free, and deliver them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Remember always, child of God, something good is going to happen to you today. It's good. And always remember, you don't have any trouble. All you need is faith in God. Check out my YouTube channel, TikTok channel, Instagram, Facebook, and my website. Have a great day. Continue to pray for me. I'll see you in the morning. God bless you.